It's no secret that our Fox bodies are starting to get old. Our interior, well, it's starting to show some wear. No matter if you take care of your interior or not, at some point, you're gonna probably look at wanting to replace it. Now, most of us, we have rips and tears and everything else in our seats, and the foam itself is damaged, at least on the driver's side. That's typically the seat that's gonna have the most damage and the most wear. So you have two major options. The first one's gonna be just getting your seats recovered. Now, the other option is to buy a different set of seats, okay? Nobody is making an exact replica of the seat that came in our Fox bodies, like Tweed. So it's getting really, really hard to find a replacement seat, like a really nice one. And if you do, people want an astronomical amount of money for them. As you all know, I got a set of seats from LMR last year and put them in the Retro Fox. What I wanna talk about today are the differences between these seats, how I feel about them, and which one is gonna be right for you. So as you can see, this is a unique design, this pattern in these seats, and it's really hard to replicate um, to get this right. So this pattern, this fabric and all that pretty much is gone now. But there are companies out there who have replacement seat covers, TMI and Acme are two that I can think of right now. So if you decide to recover your seats, just know that they're not going to match perfectly. The red, the gray, the black is probably about the closest uh, that I can think of. The red's okay, but the gray, there's just something about it that doesn't look factory. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Some of you guys like the way it looks, but if you're looking for that authentic, like just dead ringer, the recovered seats typically aren't going to match up like you would want. And a lot of people are disappointed whenever they do it. So I'm here to tell you, if you're going to recover your seats, go into this with an open mind. Know that it's not gonna be an exact factory match, okay? Just know that ahead of time, there are tons of aftermarket seats out there that you can put in your Fox body. But I think most people are looking for that factory kind of feel, right? Uh, at least we want it to resemble factory, unless you just go completely off the wall with you know some Corbos or something along those lines, some race seats maybe. So with that being said, let's go out and look at another option for you guys. These are the seats that come from LMR. They're a factory style seat, but they're not obviously an exact match. So if we step back here and look at them, they look kind of factory like first glance you would think they were factory but the material is completely different on these but it's uh if you've ever had corbo seats or anything like that this is uh basically the same style i know the main question is how do they sit well let's see different <laughs> they 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 sit a lot different than your factory seat they look like a factory seat but they definitely sit a little differently these are a lot more firm than a factory style seat also, you're gonna sit up a little bit a little bit higher. So for me, I'm 5'8", I'm a pretty short guy. I actually benefit from the height difference in these seats here. If you're a taller person, you might not like it as much. It really just depends on your taste. Now, there's some taller people out there in the world that like you know, to sit up high, it doesn't bother them. All right, so let's compare that to this seat. This seat definitely sits a lot lower. It feels like it wraps around you a little better. But let's face the facts it's worn out. I mean, most of these seats are worn out, especially if I go over here and sit in the driver's seat. But I know that one is, that's why I chose to sit in the passenger side of both cars. They're a different feel. They do not feel like a factory seat. Uh, it feels like an aftermarket seat, but it also feels like some of the newer stuff that you're gonna get in. You know, for anybody that's got a newer vehicle, probably like 2015, 16 and up, I mean, it's gonna feel similar to the way those things feel. Prices are gonna vary on getting your seats recovered. It depends on, you know, where you're at, how much the people are charging and everything else. So let's look at it this way. Let's say you really need some seats for your car and the foam is all torn up and you really need new seats, so you're gonna have to buy the foam and the upholstery and everything. Let's say you're not a purist at heart. Like, you like the factory seats, but you're okay with something just being similar. That's me. I'm that guy for most cases. So if you're trying to do a very nice restoration on one of these cars, then chances are these two options won't work for you anyway. You're gonna have to go out and source a set of really nice factory seats from somebody, and you're definitely gonna pay for those. But outside of that, I feel like 
I feel like the seats from LMR do a really good job of replicating the look. Now, they don't have the pull-out bolsters like the knee bolster and things like that. They're just a standard seat that should last you, but they don't have all the other functions and stuff, right? It's a very simple seat, but it's a nice seat. Now, if you're going to go out and pay somebody to recover these things, you're going to have more money in your factory seats, I think, or as much at least, is what you would have in these. So the new seats are a, definitely a lot lighter than the factory seats. So it's a weight savings if you're interested in that. If you wanna take these things, buy the upholstery and recover them yourself, I think that's a good option. If you're okay with the way that the fabric looks, then I think it's probably a really good idea for you guys to maybe just recover your stuff. So let's talk about the different colors though, because there are different options here. If you have red interior, yes, you're gonna have to either find some new red seats or get yours recovered. So LMR only sells these seats in two colors. That's gray and black. I would definitely recommend the black seats if you're looking to redo that interior. And the reason why is because they look so close, nobody's really gonna notice it, and they don't stain, they don't show stains very easily, right? Now, when it comes to the gray interior, and you've got gray tweed in your car right now and you're trying to decide whether you want to get these things recovered or buy the LMR seats. If you're okay with it not matching exactly, I would probably look at getting the seats recovered and here's why. The material that the new seats are made out of, your gray seats are gonna stain a little easier. So check this tweed out right here. Now this thing is absolutely filthy, but what I want you to see is all the different colors and variations in this that's what allows these seats to not show stains very well. Your new seats don't have all the color variations. It is just a solid gray or a solid black. So it's gonna stain a little easier. But you know, you can always throw a towel or something in the seat, old school like we used to do, or actually put a seat cover on it. But I just like the towel. I think you'll be pretty good with those. First off, I would always recommend if you could find a set of really nice seats that are the color you want and they're factory and you can afford to buy them, I suggest go that route. The second option for me, for me personally, would be the aftermarket seats. Anyway guys, you got options, so uh, let me know down below which seats would you prefer. I will say this, I, I do recommend the seats, uh, but just know that they sit a little higher, they're a lot more firm, but outside of that, they're a great seat, they're lightweight, and they're easy, right? That's the other side of this that I want everybody to remember, they're an easy seat to install. Totally understand for some of you guys that don't want that seat. For those of you who are like me and just want something that looks kind of stock, I say go for them, guys. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. And as always, thanks for watching. Also, I'd like to remind everybody, feel free to stop by shopbrutal.com. Pick yourself up some Fox Body gear. We got hoodies. We got t-shirts. We got cups. We've even got coloring books for the kids. It's a great way to support the channel and hook yourself up with some Fox Body swag.